new setup, as you can see, um, your obviously angle is slightly different this time. I'll show you the setup at the end, um, because I don't want to mess it up, because my computer's behind me, I can't see the screen right now. That's why I'm actually looking at you this time. Uh, please ignore my Naruto poster in the background. Uh, many years ago, Otaku. And my parents loved that was the only thing I liked, so that's all they bought me. I'd much prefer you to stare at the, the awesome, you know, hot chicks on my wall, but it ain't gonna happen. I don't know why. Maybe I'll set that up, because in order to move my lamp over here, I have to unplug it and replug it in. It's too dark for me to do that, so I'm not gonna even attempt, because my room is just so damn filthy. Um, plus, I haven't cleaned the spiders off of it, because I'm still scared to touch them. So they're, they're just they're staying on my lamp. Then we're cool. It, it's a it's win-win situation. They get to use my room, and I don't bother them. I guess it's not a win-win situation. It's kind of one-sided. Bastards. Anywho, some news. Okay, I lost my internet for a month, for those of you who do already know. Um, and this time I've obviously cut off the vast majority of my hair. Which, I love my new cut, because it makes me more sexy. Um... I think it was December 28th, I went to counseling for the first time, and the lady there was a total bitch. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it or anything, she's a bitch. And she kept trying to tell me that I was wrong because transgender meant that you'd look at your, your clitoris and you'd see a mini penis. You wouldn't see a clitoris at all, you'd just see a mini penis. So you'd basically be de deceiving yourself. I'm not ignorant, I know what I have down there. I'm not gonna lie to myself and say it's something that's not, because I, I, I'm realist, I know what I have. That doesn't mean that it's what I should have, or, or what I, I, I guess I, what I, yeah, what I should have, we'll just go that way. Um, so there's that, and then she kept referring back to her past patients in a way that I felt was very disrespectful, and she'd say stuff like, um, I had this guy who, she'd say, um, quote, I had this guy who came in here, and he felt that he was a lesbian, and, and she was just... The way she said it, it was, is she was demeaning his, his gender orientation and his sexual orientation, and it upset me, and, she, and then she yelled at my sister, because she was asking my mom all these questions, and I was paying attention, and my sister grabbed one of her toys. She has a room full of toys. My sister grabbed one of her toys, so she yelled at my sister. I mean, no boarding, no, 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 I mean, so she just rubbed me and my mom the wrong way. We, we are not going to go back there. The problem with this is now my mom's discouraged to go back to counseling at all. Um, she felt that it was a waste of money, and she doesn't want to waste the money again. So I'm, I'm trying to get her back into that. Uh, the next day we went to a doctor's appointment, which made her even more discouraged because they had told her what, what, she had told them what she wanted, and they didn't give it to her. And they said that she, they couldn't give it to her. So, but the doctor um, talked to her and she was much, much more helpful than the counselor was. And she uh, told my mom a lot of stuff that I felt made her more comfortable. Um, my mom's against the idea of going to support group because she feels like if she goes to a support group, let me reword that. When I tell her she should go to a support group, she feels like I'm telling her that she doesn't support me and she says, you know, no, no, I support you. When the doctor said she should go to a support group, she said, no, no, I support I support her. And I'm trying to tell her that's not the case. And we'll see how that goes. And I found a support group that is around. It's, and the next session is February 28th. And I'm going to try to get her to go to that one. And I told her, you know, I think it'd be good for her. So we'll see how that goes. Um, other than that, I don't think much has happened. Uh, I got a PS3. <laughs> That's basically all I can say. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you my setup. Now, I have, I've moved my lamp from up there, and I've moved it down onto my trunk. So it's a little closer to me. My room feels a lot darker. And now my stand. Now, I'm not going to come back to this. So after this, this video is over. My stand is the, uh, the drums. It's, it's, it's very, I, I put them up all the way. I guess I'll put it back. I put them up all the way in hopes that it would work right. Yeah, you like my color, I know. So, and I guess it's working pretty well, I think. Yeah. I'm pretty casual right now. I'm at home. Oh, news. Um, uh, 
Today was my last day of regular high school. Uh, I'm not going to continuation school, which for those of you who don't know, it's somewhere you go, uh, they make up credits faster and everything's easier. There's no homework, shorter days, um, sh smaller class sizes, everything's more personal, everything's with credit. Um, we only go Monday through Thursday and it's two hours less than you'd be going if I was at the regular high school. And they, I mean, no homework. They ne it's the thing, nobody gives homework, everything's in class, and I can make up my credits like that and go back to the regular high school and graduate. So that's pretty exciting. Um, also, I'm very hyper because I got my first NAS today, and I'm a high. And uh, it is, it's quite delicious, I do love it. So, I guess this is my vlog for today. Uh, I come back when I have more, of oh, one more. <laughs> I talked to a peer counselor today, online, I am, and, um, so, that's pretty interesting. My neighbors are home right now, so yeah, I'm gonna actually have to go. Uh, hopefully, I'll get another chance to post one. So, yeah, you guys have a good night, evening, morning, sir and madam person. Uh, I'm respectful. Alright, peace.